So, Carl, um, another win at North Wales Crusaders last weekend. Uh, the side left it late yet again. Yes, um, we're making a habit of that, but like I think I said last week and, and the week before, if we're close near the end, we, we normally get teams, and, and a, a lot of the teams know that. So, you know, we, we stay controlled and in like eight points, I think it was, or ten points with eight minutes to go, and the boys never panicked and they, they stayed in control, and, you know, we got them in the end, which... At the end of the day, you still get the three points, so you know we we were comfortable with that, and um, and the boys are making a bit of a habit of it. It's not nice for myself and and the fans, but as long as we come away with the win, then that's all that matters. Why do you think the team can grind out these performances and uh, and get the wins? Well, I think it's um, it all starts from the top man. You know, Cookie's one who who don't panic and he plays pretty relaxed when he plays, and and I think that's just run through the team he's a he's a pre pretty relaxed sort of a bloke and you know he, he he makes them stay calm whereas you know the in years gone by we've probably tried to push passes and panics and even like with four or five minutes to go he he just puts the ball into the corners and you're thinking gee run it run it but he he seems to know what he's doing he puts them in the corners and then we put them under a lot of pressure and they come up with an error and we get the ball back in good field position and then we normally score so I think that it all comes from the top. Uh, moving on to the Challenge Cup, um, I believe there's going to be a flag waving uh, ceremony before the match. Uh, could you give us a bit more information about that? Yeah, they. I think this is the second year they've done it, and um, and we send send the president down, uh, Stuart Piper, and he's honoured really to to carry the Don's flag out onto the um, Wembley Stadium. So. You know, every time I've asked him, he, he's loved to do it, and um, and he's proud to do it as well. He's very, very proud of the club, so he, it's fitting for Stuart to um, to carry the flag for us. We think he's a he's a great flag bearer for us, and uh, you know, before the Challenge Cup final, leading them out, it, he gets a bit of a kick out of it as well. So it, it's good for the club. This Sunday, the club returned to the Keepmart Stadium for the first time since May. Um, how much are you looking forward to being back here? Yeah, couldn't have asked for a better one, you know, against the league leaders, unbeaten Lee Centurions, well coached by Paul Rowley, great guy. Um, really looking forward to it, you know, it should be a bumper crowd here. We do urge, um, you know, all our fans to get hold of their neighbours and their brothers and sisters and bring them down because Lee are travelling really well and they're, and they're taking a hell of a lot of away fans to games. So um, we need to try and match them in their department. We are at home. Um, you know, if any Doncaster Rovers fans fancy a game that to come and watch us, then you know we're back at the stadium after a good six six weeks away, um, and we couldn't have asked for a tougher one as well, which you know is exciting. And Lee, like I say, Lee haven't lost all year, um, and it's something that you know would be very proud if we could we could pull that victory off, especially here at the Keep Mote. So it'll be a it'll be a cracking game and. We, um, you know, we've we've got a one or two knocks which we we need to look at during the week, and and hopefully they'll get manage to get through the game. And if not, we we can't afford to play anyone who's who's not fit against Lee Centurions because we'll get found out. So Cookie will have a look at training this week, and you know he'll pick a team that's 100% fit, whether that's bringing in a few of the other lads um, who are who are physically fit, but. Um, not played maybe for a week or so ago. Um, we need we need to look at bringing some fresh bodies in because we've had a real real tough six weeks away from from the keep mate. So whoever plays will will give their all for the club and and that's what that's all we ask. Lee, uh, top of the league, as you say, um, are they the sort of team and the sort of setup that the Don Doncaster are looking to get to in future seasons? Yes, you know. I'm I'm pretty good friends with Paul Rowley and you know they've done similar to us in the in the last four years they've slowly built up to where they needed to be and then they've added a a bit of quality to their squad but um, realistically I think that we're probably one of the only sides in the comp that you know um, applaud Lee and 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 say that Lee are the best team in this competition regardless um, we're not ashamed to say that. We aspire to to be as good as them. We, you know, we, and and don't take me wrong when I'm saying that. We still feel we can we can beat them, um, but they're a they're a great club and and they've done it the right way. Um, they've only just started 
spending a little bit of money and they're, they're going full time next year so you know very very well run well coached club and and it's something that we certainly look at how they do it and but but like I say we don't fear them uh, we when we went over there we we give them a hell of a game for you know 45 50 minutes and we picked up some injuries so we had to leave players out a bit longer than we thought we you know we would like to so it'll be a cracker they have to lose at some stage and let's just hope it's here at the keep mate